In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a proper, perfect, icy cold strawberry daiquiri. Absolutely delicious. The ingredients and the equipment that you're gonna to need to make your strawberry daiquiri, let's start off with the rum. Unaged white rum, that's what I personally prefer, but you do your own favorite rum in there. Anything up to, for me, anything up to a three-year-old that's been filtered, but traditionally, I do unaged rums. Strawberry syrup, your favorite brand of strawberry syrup. You can make it yourself at home, of course you can. I just prefer to buy stuff in. This is really vibrant in flavor. Then we've got some freshly squeezed lime juice. Don't forget you want some proper frozen chunky ice out of your freezer. Then equipment-wise, Cocktail shaker, I use a Boston shaker, so two parts, which means I do need a Hawthorne strainer to stop the ice coming out. If you've got a cobbler shaker or a three-part shaker, you don't really need that. But I always recommend a double, um, a fine strainer, a tea strainer if you like, to get rid of any little tiny shards of ice. So you've got a silky smooth cocktail. Jigger, ideally with lines in it so you can get a perfect, accurate cocktail in there. Remember, cocktails are all about ratios, not just like and that. So you want perfectly accurate. And then uh, your glass of choice, we're going for served up this time in this cocktail. So my uh, Nick and Nora glass is in the freezer, but you could go for a martini or a coupe glass. Now I'm going for my perfect ratio, which is a five to two at the moment. So five parts rum, two parts syrup, one part lime juice. You play about and find your own perfect ratio. There's no right or wrong, just what you like. I know people that do a two one one, that's where most people start off. You can do a six two one, you can do a five two one and a half, whatever floats your boat. So I'm going for uh, 50 mil, there's my five parts of white rum, 20 mil of lime juice, 20 ml of vibrant strawberry syrup. Fill your shaker completely with frozen ice. Shake really hard for 10 to 12 seconds. You should end up with lovely frosting on the side of your shaker, perfectly cold. Take your small martini glass, Nick coupe glass, and Nick and Nora glass out of the freezer. Remember, you've got an ice cold cocktail, you want an ice cold glass. Hawthorne strainer just goes in there to stop the ice come out. And then we're just gonna double strain through a fine strainer. That gets rid of all the tiny little shards of ice. Now, a perfect garnish for that would be a fresh strawberry just popped on the side there. Ideally, you don't want a fresh lime wedge. You don't want to add any more citrus to the cocktail. I just use dried fruit at home here. So, perfect strawberry daiquiri. Light, clean, crisp. The strawberry comes through. That is a fun but perfect strawberry daiquiri.